Welcome back guys. In this video we're going to go ahead and set up our routers that are going to help us to navigate to different parts of our application. So right now we have our documentation and if you're to observe we have uh, authentication specific routes as well as order specific routes. So what we're going to do is to basically add routers that are going to help us to navigate to the authentication as well as routers that are going to help us to navigate to our orders. So I'm going to pull up my terminal and create a virtual environment. So I'm going to say Python uh, minus M and web. I'm going to create our virtual environment as env. After creating the virtual environment, we are going to activate it and then go ahead and install our, our dependencies for our project. So let's wait until this is done. So after this is done, I'm going to go ahead and uh, activate this virtual environment. So to do that, I'm going to say source env, and then this is going to be script, and then I'm going to activate. So after activating this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start to install the required dependencies. So I'm going to install a fast API, so I'm going to go ahead and run uh, pip install fast. API. So this is going to install Fast API within our virtual environment. So after installing Fast API, I'm going to go ahead and create our main app file. So I'm going to close this and then go within our folder and create our main. So this is going to be main.py. And within our main.py, I'm going to create our main instance. So so I'm going to start by importing fast API. So this is going to be from fast API import fast API. So after doing this, I'm going to create our app instance. So our app instance is going to be fast API. And after doing this, I'm going to go ahead and create the different routers for our orders as well as routers specific to our authentication. To do that, I'm going to come within main within our folder. I'm going to create a file which I'm going to call our auth routes file. And then I'm going to go ahead and also create a file which I'm going to call uh, order. So this is going to be order routes file. And now after creating this, I'm going to go ahead and create routers. So routers enable us to uh, label a certain functionality to certain routes, as well as, uh, so for example, in this case, we have the authentication as well as orders. But what we're going to do is to create an order router that's going to have routes specific to authentication, as well as an order router that's going to have a uh, router specific to making orders. So to do that, I'm going to come to our auth. So I'm going to use a class called the API router class from Fast API. I'm going to say for Fast API, I'm going to import the API router class. So each router is going to be an instance of this API router class. So I'm going to start by creating the auth router. So this is going to be auth router. Let me correct this. So this is going to be uh, an API router instance. So I'm going to begin by saying at auth router dot get. So this is going to be um, our first uh, our first route, and then I'm going to create an async function. So this is going to be async dev. Then we shall specify that this is going to be hello. This is going to be a uh, uh, testing route, so I'm going to just simply return. Uh, this is going to be a message. And this message is going to have a hello, hello world. So after doing this, I'm going to save. I'm going to also do the same thing for our orders. So I'll copy this and put it in our orders. So after putting this in our orders, I'm going to change this to uh, order router, and then also change this to order router. So if you're observant, this uh, API router class creates instances similar to our main uh, 
API instance. And this help us to uh, basically create uh, routers that can enable us to create different routes for different functionality that you may have. So after creating these routers, I'm going to go to main.py and import these routers. So I'll say from, this is going to be auth routes. I'm going to import the auth router. So I'm going to import auth router and then I'm going to also do the same thing for our orders. So we need to do the same thing for the order router. So I'll import the order router. So I'll say from order routes. We need to go ahead and import the order router. After importing the order router, I'm going to come and register these routers within our main application. So to do that, I'll come and say uh, app dot include going to be include. A router so I'm going to import to include the router and then right here I'm going to include auth router and then after doing that I also say app dot include so I'm going to import uh, to include the other router as well and after uh, including the other router I'm going to go ahead and uh, run our main app function I mean our main app class so to do this, I'm going to install UVCon. So UVCon is the server that's going to help us to run our application. So I need to go right here, open my terminal within our virtual environment, and then I'm going to pip install uh, our UVCon. So right now our UVCon has been installed, so I'm going to go ahead and run our application. So to run our application, I'm simply going to go ahead and run our application by saying UVCon. Then in this case, we're going to run our main because it's our file that contains our main app instance. So main.py, then our app instance, which is app. I'm also going to specify reload because we want our server to run when we make code changes. So to do this, I'll say reload. So I'm going to run this. And now we see that our server has been started and it's running at localhost 8000. So I'm going to open this app. So I'm going to open up uh, our browser and localhost 8000. It's going to open up in our browser. Sorry for this. So I'm going to simply open up my Chrome. And when I go to localhost 8000, so this is going to be localhost 8000. We can now see our message is hello world. So let's say if I went to slash auth. So we have a detail not found. Let's see what's the problem. Auth routes. So our auth router uh, has a message of hello world but doesn't have a prefix. So let's fix this. So I'm going to provide a prefix. So the prefix is going to enable us to create a separate route for authentication as well as separate route for order. So I'll add the prefix. So this prefix is going to be slash auth. And then if I save this, our server is going to restart. So if I go back to Chrome and refresh, we see that now when we access the auth router, we can access the routes that are specific to auth. Let's also navigate to our order. So if I said uh, localhost, 8000, let's say slash uh, orders. So right now we see it's not found. To make it found, what we're going to do is to actually come and specify our prefix as well. So we need to provide prefix. I'm also going to come and specify our prefix. So this prefix is going to have slash orders. Then another thing I may also specify is going to be our tags, as these tags are going to label these routes on our Swagger UI. So to do that, I'll come and just say tags is going to be a list of tags. And in this case, we are going to have uh, a tag, our tags for orders uh, being orders. I'm going to, going to do the same thing for our auth route. So I'll come within our auth and then uh, write orders. It's going to be for two. Uh, actually, this is going to be our uh, tags. And then the tag for this is going to be auth. So when I save, our server is going to restart. I'm going to head over to our Swagger UI. 
And as Waga UI, since we are using Fast API, it's going to be generated automatically for us. I need to head over to localhost uh, 8000, and this is going to be slash, uh, it's going to be slash docs. So this is going to generate our first API, Swagga UI, and it's going to show us the different authentication and the different order routes. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next video. Bye.